Good afternoon. It has caused controversy and outrage on both sides. Voters overwhelmingly passed it to keep violent suspected criminals behind bars. But a side effect has been a lot more suspects being released without bond. Now, Governor Susana Martinez is now calling for an overhaul of how that bail reform works in New Mexico. Right now, members of a legislative subcommittee on criminal justice are meeting to discuss it. News 13's Fernando Lopez is live at Ladera Golf Course on the west side with more on those discussions. Kim, lawmakers invited the governor to attend to share her plans on bail reform, but she denied their invitation. Now, the governor has blasted the constitutional amendment voters overwhelmingly approved last November, saying the court rules favor the release at times of repeat offenders and people arrested for violent crimes. Now, the governor said in a letter to the co-chairs of the subcommittee who invited her to attend, Senators Senator Sander Rue and Representative uh, Mo Maestas, that she hopes they join their colleagues in the legislature in ongoing discussions on bail reform that does not endanger communities. Now, the amendment allows judges to hold suspects without bond until trial if they are a danger to the public. It also allows judges to release suspects who are not considered dangerous. Now, some lawmakers say they're disappointed the governor did not show up, and there is a lot of confusion on the issue. Well, as you know, the governor took to, to venting on Facebook instead of holding a meeting or whatnot. I think she's confusing the constitutional amendments relationship to the pretrial detention order and State v. Brown, a court case, and the pretrial release order. Uh, so we invited her administration, not just her, uh, and they, they declined, which is unfortunate because we can't solve problems unless we have the ability to talk to one another. Now, lawmakers have not reached the discussion on bail reform. They were still discussing lowering penalties on minor crimes. Now, the governor also told the subcommittee chairs in her letter that bail reform originates in the legislature. Kim? Okay, thanks, Fernanda. Now, a 30-day session for the legislature begins on January 16th.